Let's see what comes up in the cards here for you. We start off with the father of air. So there may be an air sign involved somehow. This could be a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Um, or it can also mean that there is someone who you can rely on as a mentor in terms of good, good decision making. Um, it can be the king of swords is what this card represents in the tarot. And the king of swords is someone who is connected with the truth, with wisdom, with ideas, beliefs, logical thinking, very analytical, um, very rational. So that's the energy that opens April for you is critical thinking, analytical thinking, being really fair, being really honest, being really truthful and having mastery over your words and also being very diplomatic. That's actually how I'm reading this most for you, Taurus. And that's a very good um, application of your attention and energies as April opens because there is that Mercury retrograde. So being very diplomatic is highlighted, especially when it comes to anything that, that you're fearful of. Um, this is five of air and it's, it's representative of five of swords. So this has to do <clears throat> with someone being underhanded, someone who is, it's usually a futile victory. It's usually something that uh, someone wins out, say, on an argument, but it doesn't really mean anything or any sorts of fears. I'm just getting that being standing in strength and being clear with your words really addresses any fear that you might have or anything that that is underhanded in your environment. If there's someone who's being childish or speaking very coarsely, this is daughter of air, which represents page of air. It represents childlike energy, it's sort of like a kid running with scissors or a kid speaking um, without thought or wisdom or experience. It's saying you kind of have a choice here between whether you want to be the master of your own speech <clears throat> excuse me, being diplomatic, being forthright, standing with the truth, or kind of giving in to fears and having this childlike, uh, less experience, um, clumsy with their words side, in which case it, sh it makes you show up as not the highest version of yourself. This is the king of earth which represents an earth sign. So this could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I'm reading this as you, Taurus, if if you give in to this choice. You kind of have a choice here of like, do you want to be the king of air, master of your words, diplomatic, analytical, rational thinking, and conquer this fear? Or do you give in to this and show the less, the less, uh, less than ideal version of yourself? So that's kind of, I'm, I'm saying, are you identifying with the childlike reactionary, you know, saying things without thinking because of being influenced by your fears and what turns you upside down? Or do you want to be this rational, logical, wise king? Um, that's really a choice of yours. Or it could also be showing up that if you are feeling this way, if you want to say things based on your fears that really makes you feel unbalanced. There could be someone who's a good mentor, especially in an air sign, again, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, who could really help you through that. This could be like the wise elder that you uh, get good counsel from, and they help you to see what it is that you need to say in a diplomatic, caring, wise, you know, stable way. So that's how I'm seeing April opening for you, Taurus. Let's see what else is coming out. Oh, interesting, a transformation. Okay, so maybe there's something that you're growing from here at the beginning of April. You know, if you're if you're um, confronting some of these fears that make you want to say things in a way that that makes you show up as not really yourself, you know, this this good counsel can help you transform. Or maybe you're becoming this person. Let's see what else is coming up. We have, this also, by the way, transformation is representative of the death card, which means letting go of something, maybe old, letting go of old childish ways. I'm actually thinking about that quote from Ecclesiastic, 
Ecclesiastes in the Bible, which says, when I was a child, I spoke like a child, but I left, I, I left childish things behind. And now I speak, you know, either as a, as a, a man or a woman, as an adult, and I've transformed, I've left behind these childish things. Now I'm showing up as this fully formed adult who has mastery over my speech. I'm going to lay out the rest of the cards and then we'll talk about what's, what else they're saying. I'm also seeing too, by the way, this new moon um, is in the middle of April here. This is that new moon in Aries. And then we're going to get a, a full moon towards the end of the month. So this transformation may happen over the last two weeks of April, but it may be something that you're fearing or resisting. You know, when I see cards in reverse, there's usually fear, doubt, or resistance that needs to be released. You may have, you may have some difficulties or fears about letting something go. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a little chilly here. Um, so with this new moon in Aries, there's a transformation available to you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but it may be one that you're fearful about. That's what I'm getting that from this card. The five of air saying, you know, I'm, I'm having fear about letting something go from the past. Um, but it's really going to be beneficial to you because that's what leads you to this moon and hermit energy and the spiritual warrior. This, this process of letting this stuff go and employing more adult, more uh, rational, analytical energy really helps you develop into this emotionally fulfilled, truth-seeking person uh, or truth-having person. I'll get to that in a moment, but I'm going to talk a little bit about what's going on here. So with this new moon in Aries, you have the opportunity to go forward in a way that really unlocks your confidence, your vitality. This is the mother of fire, which is the queen of wands, um, who is passionate, confident, invigorated. She's optimistic. She takes action. She likes to get things done. And this is the wheel, which is wheel of fortune. So this means going forward in a very confident, positive, action-oriented way, Taurus. This is really good energy for you. Fire energy really serves earth energy um, because fire creates earth. And with this wheel, this is like good luck, things moving forward, chance being on your side, fortune helping you through something. And I see you letting go of any torment. This is usually the devil card, which means restriction, um, being bound to something, feeling immobilized, feeling fearful, or um, being confined in some way. But I see you, you know, striking off your your binds. I see you moving through the world with this fiery confidence, this vitality, this energy. And I and she's a very mature card as well. She is in her own authority. She does things. It's kind of like having your day in the sun. Like, this is, this is me. I'm loud and proud. I'm kind of getting like, um, hear me roar is what, she usually has a kitten on her lap or a cat. And it's sort of like you moving forward confidently through the world and things being, things going sort of smoothly with the wheel of time. So don't fear this transformation here at the middle of the month, Taurus. You've got really powerful energy coming through here. I mean, you've got, these are all um, one, two, three, four, five major arcanas. And there's the sixth one that unlocks it. So half of your cards are major arcana. So this could be a big month for you. You could have a real breakthrough this month, Taurus. And it's, it's wonderful. It's just a matter of, do you want to give in to the more childlike, fearful side of yourself that turns you upside down? Or do you rely upon this good wisdom, either from within yourself or from another, like a mentor figure that helps you transform into this radiant, confident, attractive, um, action-oriented person where things flow. Things, it's sort of like, <clears throat> excuse me, I see, I see going from fearful, you know, swimming up against the current to being liberated. And I'm really getting liberated because devil here is in reverse. And this is sort of like going with things, at letting things unfold naturally. So that's really the opportunity for you this month is to confront fears, 
um, the childlike reactionary side, speaking without thinking versus thinking things through very carefully before you use your words and transforming from you being upside down to being this powerful, emotionally sound um, and truth, truth embracing person. So lots of good stuff here, Taurus. Real, real breakthrough at the middle of the month. This new moon in Aries may be a very good time for you to begin something that is very treasured to you. It might be the right time for you to sort like I'm getting that song I'm coming out um I think it's Diana Ross this is you showing up large on stage because you're released from whatever it is that you <clears throat> may come into the month with dealing with any sort of conflict and then and I, I really actually get that it's based upon the wise counsel either from within your own self or from someone else and then you come to this beautiful place, Taurus, of this is the spiritual warrior card. And this is equivalent to the chariot card, which again means things moving forward. It really, there's a lot of forward momentum here between this card, things moving forward, being released from torment, being unbound and liberated, and then being able to move forward in a balanced way. This card also talks about balance, but this is about emotional balance. It means identifying, letting, letting emotions come up from the deep and identifying what's true versus what's not true. What is passing and fleeting versus what's permanent. What is consistent and reliable versus what is changeable and not, not real. You know, what's illusion and fantasy versus reality? That's really what the moon is about. And especially as it relates to your emotions, your dreams, your deep-seated feelings that are usually under the surface, it's a good time to let that out for evaluation, Taurus, because it does lead you to truth. This is the hermit card, which is the guru in the mountain who remains in silence and really looks at I'm, again, I'm seeing this full moon. The, the full moon at the end of the month may be a powerful time for you, Taurus, because Hermit really looks at what is true. What is they're, they're concerned with truth with a capital T. They're looking for what are the ideals, the beliefs, the um, philosophies that I hold strongly to, that I want to live my life by. And this spiritual warrior takes, takes those forward. He, this is a card of triumph and victory. And we see again, this hawk flying above. Again, another symbol of liberation that it really carries you forward to victory, to triumph, to success. This means crossing the finish line, having balance. Um, there's a lot of really good forward movement here. And I, I see you doing it in a quiet way, getting closer to your truth. So that's, it's really beautiful time for you. I feel you very sort of like proud and strong and this quiet movement forward, Taurus, that it's just very powerful. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and then at the end of the month, you know, with this Ten of Wands, this is called oppression here, but what I see this card being about is letting go of what we're carrying that no longer feels relevant. This, this is sort of like letting go of usually in this card there's a person carrying 10 wands and they it means carrying more than is necessary so whenever i see this card i always ask what can you put down what are you carrying that's not yours what are you carrying that feels oppressive that is blocking you from seeing your path forward because i'm also seeing with the chariot here um this is forward movement and this is this is whatever sort of like stuff, uh, extra baggage, like um, just sort of clutter is keeping you from moving forward, keeping you from feeling like you can go forward at, at a, a pace that you would like to and embracing this wheel energy. I'm kind of seeing it's like your car or wagon is packed, but you might have to get rid of some excess stuff so that you can go at a clip that you feel ready for. You know, Ten of Wands always says, what are you carrying that's unnecessary? What can you put down that's not yours? What are you, what, what is burdening you from moving forward? Sometimes there's this great quote, 
I don't know if it's Muhammad Ali or not, but he said, it's not the mountain that kills you. It's the pebble in your shoe. So this is this card is an opportunity and an invitation to remove any pebbles in your shoe, Taurus, because you're definitely, you're definitely on the move in some way. You're definitely moving forward. So clear out any of this residual stuff that you may be carrying that's no longer relevant to you, that's no that will impede your forward direction. Because this this full moon is can be really transformative for you. And full moons are also about release. So in any way that you want to release something that is no longer serving you, this full moon is a great time to do that, Taurus. I believe it's in your opposite sign of, of Scorpio. So especially as it relates to relationships, uh, old, outdated emotions, you don't have to carry the skull of the past with you. You can go forward and connect to what's re re here in the present, you know, with this fire energy. Fire is about the current moment, the passion, the invigoration, the opportunity, the enthusiasm. So stay with what moves you forward and release, you know, any pebbles in your shoe that, that impede your forward motion. 